Supreme's biggest drop of the year is happening this Thursday. And guess how you can make that drop yours without it. What's going on guys? My name is Peter. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the cool features that Attic has to offer. I'm also going to walk you through a live task, how to create a profile, and I'm going to answer some of the most commonly asked questions that you guys have for us. So let's get to it. For those of you who haven't picked up a copy, Attic is an iOS bot that supports over 85 online hype retailers, and it comes with tons and tons of cool features like human mimicking, in-app capture solver, restock mode, unlimited tasks, and free updates for a lifetime. So if you guys haven't picked up a copy, be sure to click the link in bio and pick yourself one up today. So those of you who've managed to pick up a copy already or are about to, uh, I'm gonna outline everything from the order confirmation page to actually activating your bot to creating a profile and then running a successful task. So first things first, when you purchase your bot, you should see a thank you order page that will look a little bit like this. Beneath your order confirmation number, you'll actually see a what's next section. This will outline the next steps to follow, so be sure to pay attention to that. If you scroll a little lower, you can actually see our frequently asked questions page. So if you guys do have any questions, take a look at this. Chances are we do have a lot of the answers already here, but if you don't see any of the answers, please don't hesitate to email us directly. Hit us up on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. So once you guys place your order, you should receive three emails. Three emails will be your payment confirmation from whatever payment provider you've used, and then two additional emails, which are the most important ones. The first email you guys are gonna receive is your license key, and this is a very, very important step to actually activating your bot. So make sure to copy this code because you're gonna need it in the next step. The second email that you guys will receive, or the third email that you guys will receive, will be a test flight invitation. So make sure to have the test flight app installed on your phone. Make sure to install that after you purchase a copy. As soon as you receive your test flight invite, go ahead and approve that invite. I already have the latest version installed, which is version 1.020. For everybody who already has a bot, make sure you do have the latest version. It's very important. Those are one of the important variables that will play into a successful cop in the future. So go ahead and open that up. As soon as you open it up, you'll see a splash page like this. Go ahead and click activate. That code that you guys copied a while ago, go ahead and paste that here directly. Each code can be used once per device. So this is your code and make sure that you don't share it with anybody. Go ahead and click done. You'll get an activation screen like this. Loading. Boom, logged in. Once you guys activated the bot once, it'll generally stay logged in. So once you guys successfully activated your bot, it'll take you directly to this dashboard page. Uh, if you take a look at the right top hand corner, you have a little notification bell. This is where we'll drop the latest releases, some news updates, and for really big releases like Supreme and Yeezy, we'll drop links to keywords that you need to use for that specific drop. On the left hand corner, we have the captcha. So before you get started, make sure you tap on that Google icon and sign in to your Google account. This is very, very important for CAPTCHA solving. Once you sign in once, you don't need to sign in again. So go ahead and log into that. This is your proxies page. So this is where you can add and remove your proxies and you can test your proxies here as well. This is your profile section. Profiles is another term used for payment methods. Typically you have a lot of payment methods used. So we just find it much easier to call each payment method a profile. Uh, and then here you have your settings page so you can automatically access our help center for any questions that you guys might have. Uh, check for updates here. Below the support button, the big blue support button that you guys see there, there's the latest version displayed. So as long as you guys have the most current version, you should be good to go on our end. Keep in mind, again, if an update was pushed and you guys haven't updated your bot and you ran a task, chances are something might happen where you might not have a successful purchase. So just make sure that section is always up to date. But we're gonna go ahead and dive into creating a profile first. So go ahead and click the plus icon in the lower center. It'll drop down a menu with three different shortcuts. Uh, you can create tasks, new profiles, and add proxies directly from this menu. So in this case, we're gonna go ahead and create a new profile. So to create a profile, you're gonna go ahead and tap the payment icon. You're gonna enter your profile name. This can be whatever it is. So let's say for instance, you're using uh, three different visas. So I'll say visa one, whatever the case is, whatever you guys wanna call this profile name. Uh, that might be helpful for you to decide which cards to switch out. This would be very helpful in the future. So go ahead and call it whatever you guys want it to. So I'll say Visa 1. 
The next most important thing is your email. So this is where you receive payment confirmations from your orders placed within the bot. So it's very important to enter the email that you guys are using. So I'll use Peter at Gmail. Again, this is just an example. So it's very important to make sure that your name matches the card that you guys are gonna use. Again, several variables do play into a successful task. And if you just so happen to have incorrect information, that could really heavily impact your guys' chances of actually purchasing limited releases. So make sure all the information all matches up. Here you're gonna go ahead and enter your credit card information, your expiration info, and your security code, and then click save. Once you guys go back, go ahead and enter your billing address. Ideally, it's best if the billing address is the same as the shipping address. This way you guys won't get flagged for, for fraudulent payments. Just switch this button here and then whatever you guys entered there will automatically pop into your shipping section here. Once you guys created the profile section, go ahead and click save. And then whatever the name of the profile is, it'll pop up in this section. So boom, once you guys create a profile, it'll pop up in this profile section here. Again, you guys can access that by just clicking this little profile icon in the lower bottom of your app. Now let's get to the fun part. So let's go ahead and click the plus icon, click create task and select the store that we want to purchase from. So in this case, I'm going to do Supreme, 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 boom, boom, boom. And then the size for the sake of this demonstration, I'm just going to do random. If you are looking to resell whatever it is that you're trying to buy, I would recommend going for random. Uh, but if you are trying to buy for yourself, then definitely select the size that you guys are going for. Uh, but in this case, for you resellers, go ahead and select the random option. Keywords. Now again, for the big drops like Yeezy, Supreme, Jordans, and any other site that we support that has a really mainstream drop, uh, we'll drop the keywords in the notification section of the app or within our Discord community, so or even our Instagram as well. So definitely be on the lookout because we'll definitely be on top of the big releases. So for this purchase, I'm gonna go ahead and type in plus uh, Hanes, comma, plus tagless, and then plus T. So boom, that's done. The first keyword must include a plus in front of it. The next keyword, after the, the first keyword, you do wanna enter a comma, then plus whatever the, whatever the keyword is, step and repeat. For the keywords, you have two alternative. If it's not a hyped, if it's not a super limited release where you're literally racing against time, this is the best alternative to go ahead and enter the keywords manually. You can also go to whatever the website is and just copy that link and paste it here instead of just typing in the keywords. But again, for limited release items, you don't really wanna go and go to the website, copy the link, paste it here because your chances are you are gonna miss out on that drop. So when we do drop the keywords, make sure to follow this exact order using the plus and comma uh, system. For this specific drop, this is under the accessories category. Uh, for color, I'm just gonna put random. And then for profile, whatever profile you guys use to create in the profile section, just go ahead and create, go ahead and click it here. Proxy, you don't really need to worry about that for Supreme. For the delay, 3250 is the best time to bypass Supreme. Start time will be manual, so you don't really need to change anything here. For tasks, if you wanna duplicate your task and buy more than one item, uh, you definitely want to tap on this section here. However, some websites will restrict your purchase if you use the same card once before. So what we recommend is going back to the create task section, filling out the task fields again, and then selecting a different payment method. So just keep that in mind for future references. And then just go ahead and create. Now, when you create, it will always say idle. So boom, we already created our task. The, stat, the status of the task is idle, meaning it hasn't been started, it hasn't been stopped. So if you see the idle on the status section, uh, just know that that is okay. As soon as you guys are ready to start the task, either tap on the task and click start task, or if you have more than one task, tap the start all section, and this will start all of the tasks you have created. If you are going for those limited items, chances are you are having like two to three tasks per item. So instead of clicking each one one by one, just tap on that start all task and it'll activate all of your tasks. So we're gonna go ahead and click start task. It's gonna say searching, product, Pookie, adding captcha. It's automatically gonna open up the captcha section. So it's good that this is happening. So this 
Having it load very slowly means it's your Wi-Fi and thankfully this actually popped up. If you don't see it pop up quickly, chances are your Wi-Fi is pretty slow so this could also impact a successful cop. Once you see this section, I'd recommend waiting about one to two seconds before clicking back. It'll say processing and boom, success. You should see an email pop up. Let's go ahead and refresh that. And there you go. There's your Supreme online order. Pretty easy, right? As long as you follow this order, you should be generally okay. Again, there are several variables that are play into a very successful task. Uh, your internet connection, if you entered the keywords correctly, even if you happen to mess up the categories or uh, the color. So just make sure you guys are very thorough when creating a task and you generally shouldn't have any problems. And at the end of the day, just let the bots compete. And there you go. I hope this video was helpful. Please feel free to leave a comment in this video. If you guys need immediate support, feel free to reach out to our help center or just reach us directly on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and we'll see you soon.